In this two-part video, we will create our own ROS service type and learn how to use it. All right, let's first source our setup files and then navigate to the hrw ros underscore msgs folder with ROS CD. And we see our little msg folder right there, also containing our fresh and new sensor information msg file. And we just learned that services are defined in the SRV folder. So let's create it first. And then let's create the service definition in the convert meters to feet dot SRV file. Okay. We want a request message type to input the distance in meter to be converted to feet. And then we have our demarcation and then the response message type, which will be the converted information in feet. And now, just like we did for messages, we go to the cmakelists.txt file and add our new service definition. We can see that there is a separate section for the services here. So let's add our new service definition there. Awesome. Now, Let's build our service, build our service file with catkin B. Now, we can check the contents of our new service definition with the ROS SRV show command, like this. And there you have it, the request message field and the response message field. Very good. Now, let's see how to use them in code. So, we go to the scripts folder where we already have two template implementations there. Let's dig in. Let's start with the server first. Note that these examples have been inspired from the standard examples in ROS wiki and only modified to suit this course context. We can see that we are importing the newly generated service definitions like this from the hrw ros underscore messages dot srv module. Note also that we have to import not only the service definition, but also explicitly the request message definition and the response message definition. And we have the other necessary Python imports. Then we have the conversion factor between meters and feet defined here as a constant. And then we go to the service callback function where the service request is processed. We first create an object for the response message type. And in this example, we perform also a sanity check to only convert distance information that is supplied as a positive real number. If the sanity check fails, we return a default error value in the response. If the input was provided correctly, we do the required conversion and return the correct and return the converted information and a flag that indicates that the conversion was successful. And in either case, we return a response. Then we have the next function for the administrative settings of the service server node. Here, we create a ROS node for our service. Then we create the actual service by giving it a name, a type, and a callback function for processing the service request. And finally, in the main function, we start the service server like this.